What's up everybody? I'm Bryce Sherbach and welcome to Local Flavors Whitefish Montana. Right now I'm actually in Glacier National Park. Glacier National Park is easily one of the most beautiful and popular national parks in America and it's about 25 miles east of Whitefish, Montana. Whitefish is a town of about 6,000 people and it's also a town that has hundreds of miles of mountain biking trails. You have a really awesome lift served option in the Whitefish Mountain Resort Bike Park. In addition to the bike park, you have FAMB, F-A-M-B, the Flathead Area Mountain Bikers and everything that they've been doing. They've been doing a ton of work to manage and grow relationships with a slew of land managers in the area. You have Forest Service, you have National Forest Services, you have the city of Whitefish, you have all these private landowners and everybody, and you have FAM kind of tasked with managing all these and building incredible trails. The mountain biking here is unbelievable. It's legitimately world-class. I've had so much fun in my time here. It's an awesome place. And of course, Glacier National Park, like I said, it's beautiful here. It's really close. This is a perfect place to bring the entire family or to just dirt bag it and come shred. Okay, so let's go ride bikes. Normally we do three trails. We're doing three segments. One of them is a three for one deal at the bike park. This is a great place. It's kind of hard to just limit it to three. I hope you enjoy. I know I did. Here we are. We're on the Spencer Trails on Spencer Mountain, which is right next to Spencer Lake, five miles or so from downtown Whitefish, Montana. I'm at the very start of Otter Pop, which is a single black diamond rated trail here. I like this trail because you can kind of choose your own adventure on it. Uh, there are plenty of opportunities to sort of send it and pop off some doubles, uh, a couple of step ups, but there's nothing here that's really a hard commitment if you don't want it to be. The speeds are pretty significant. The surface of the trail is definitely very loose over very, very hard. Um, so just kind of be aware of that when you're riding. For somebody like me from the East Coast, I'm very used to sort of tacky, wet, greasy stuff. So this has been a really fun challenge to figure out and I think you're really gonna like this trail. Okay, so like I said, Otter Pop starts a bit more on the pedally side. You're gonna climb about 85 feet or so for the first third of the trail. And we will definitely lose quite a bit of elevation once it really starts to go down. This is just a quick something to play on. Here we go. Drop there, double to the catch berm. ladder drops here. Love it. Such a good rhythm. We got it. Super fun she came here. Okay, double, double. Oh, 
one more double. And that's it. Oh, that is fun. What a rhythm. This is gonna be a bit different. I'm taking three different trails here at the bike park and putting it all together for a few reasons. One, all three of them are really short trails. The longest one is a half a mile long. Two, they're all hand built. There's no, there were no machines involved in the design or construction of any of these things. And consequently, the trails, while ranging from sort of a spicy blue to a double black, they all are very off camber. They all embrace the roots and the rocks and the loose corners. Not a lot of supportive berms anywhere to be found between them. They're a lot of fun. They kind of speak to me. That's my style of riding. All right, let me get into these three trails. The first one would be the spicy blue trail, as we'll call it, CZ Top. You're gonna lose just under 400 feet over the course of about four tenths of a mile. Uh, there are no steep pitches really anywhere to be found. There are a lot of really cool off camber corners, loads of roots, and brown pal by the bucket throughout the trail. The more advanced trail, it's rated single black, it's called Cindy's Loppers. It starts just past ZZ Top. Uh, it'll have a few more sustained steeper pitches, a couple of optional lines that might be a bit more high risk, but again, similar to ZZ Top, loads of roots, loads of brown pal, and a lot of fun from start to finish. The third and final trail of this triple showcase is called Careless Whisper. It's the shortest of the three. It's easily the steepest of the three. And really the cool thing about this trail is there, there are sections throughout the trail that are much more about speed control than anything else because they are so steep, the dirt gets so loose, it's really dry here right now. If you get a little bit of wet weather, you'll actually be treated to a bit of a loam fest. Uh, but right now, it's been really warm and dry lately and as a result, the corners are just talcum powder. They're amazing, it's such a fun trail. It ends with a nice double. Uh, and yeah, all three of these trails are just really cool and I think more bike parks should incorporate this kind of trail design into their overall plan. Okay, let's go. So you can come right into this trail with a head of steam and get right into some cool off camera bits. But this first right is tricky and it's one that you can't really like fly through. Really cool cameras in here. I think this would make for a really fun enduro stage because it's all about line choice. A little gap on the wood. Cross over the jump lines to just keep your eyes peeled. And you will, if you're cool with it, do some drifting in here. So just be ready for that. Okay, so you have a few different drop options here. A green, a blue, and a black. We'll take the big one. Okay, so overflow to the left. We are gonna stay right and work our way down to these boxes. Such a cool trail. No machines involved in this. Okay, trail crossing here. A little bit of a, a yank. Step down, double thing there. Some lovely dark and deep woods. You can yunt jump over that. A little double. Okay. Bit of a rickety bridge. Not the race line. But fun. Okay. 
Okay, stay outside here. Hoo-wee. And that is Cindy's Loppers. <laughs> I love the trail names here. Here we go. Here, let's go. So loose. I really did not do that corner right. But try to get the rest of it right. Yeah, this trail is so good. Okay. Nice steep section here. Bit of a steep rut. You gotta find yourself in, commit to it. God, this is all fake news. Okay, we're, <laughs> I don't, I'm getting a lot of misinformation right now. All right, so we're, we're at the, the top of the Tally Rangers district. Uh, we're about to take two trails. We're gonna start on Reed Divide. The section that we'll be riding will be maybe trending slightly downward, but it seems like it's gonna be a bit of up and a bit of down in short spurts. But if you were to take that all the way down, you could take that down to Tally Lake and it would be about nine and a half miles. You climb, according to Trail Forks, uh, about 1400 feet, you descend over 3000. We, two thirds of the way down Reed though, are going to make a right onto Boney Gulch. That seems to be a pretty sustained downhill. Uh, 10 minutes, uh, fast, a little bit flurrier than some of the stuff that we've done so far today. And we're gonna take that down to, to Tally Lake. I think we're gonna take some of our clothes off when we get there, jump in the water, have some beers. Should be fun, a little bit flowier, some nice views hopefully. Maybe no grizzlies, maybe some grizzlies. That's the turn off of Reed onto Boney. 10 minutes downhill. I do believe there are some trees down up ahead. I was warned about. Yeah. Switchbacks are, I think. It will rock the apex there. Pretty mellow grade for that one.
Hey, now party at the lake. <laughs> 